first try. <laughs> nope. Hey guys, what's up? So I just got back from traveling. So my wife and I went to the Philippines and I'm very excited to tell you about what gear I bought throughout that trip because as some people would like to do is they would like to take photos or videos of their travel uh, vacation holiday thing. <laughs> so I'm going to discuss with you what gear I actually brought to the Philippines to achieve these photos. Not bad, right? So it was either myself just shooting handheld or I was using a tripod. So let's start with the camera body. So the camera body that I chose to bring for this trip is none other than the Sony a7C. So you're asking why Sony a7C? So the Sony a7C is actually a full frame body. Isn't it crazy that it looks so small? It just looks like an a6400, right? But actually, this is a full frame, like an a7 III in an a 6400 body. So you are right. It's actually the small size of a crop sensor. So this is what a full frame camera looks like on a DSLR level. So again, this is an A7C and this is a Canon 60. You can already see the size difference. So which would you rather travel with? Like if you wanted to travel light, would you want to travel with this? Or this. Obviously, you would want to travel with this, right? I'm not saying that the Canon 6D is a bad camera, though. In fact, this is my wife's camera, and she's done a lot of professional shoots with this. But then, again, the form factor is just different. So, again, this is a mirrorless body and a DSLR body. I would suggest you to stick with the A7C, which has a smaller form factor. So item number two on our list for our travel-friendly photography kit is this Sony 28-60. This is actually a zoom lens. As you can see, it just looks like a kit lens. It is a kit lens, but it's not like the 28 to 70. This is the 28 to 60, which has this feature. Check this out. See, now it retracts. Now it's, it's slightly much bigger, but then you do have the zooming capabilities of a 28 to 60 full frame format lens. Let me show you what, what a 24 to 70 lens would look like. Again, I'm showing my wife's camera again. So this is a full frame camera. So if I zoom it all the way out to 70 millimeters, this is how big it will be. For this, for the other camera, if I put it on 60 millimeters, this is the difference right now. So this is the Sony a7C with the 28 to 60 zoomed out to 60 millimeters. And this is the Canon 60 zoomed out at 70 millimeters. Imagine how much fuzz this would, like the Canon 6D will cost. Like if you brought this out, on travel and you're photographing, let's say a building, people around you would feel a little bit uneasy because this looks more like a professional camera opposed to this one that looks like you're just a friendly tourist. So again, the Sony 28 to 60 is such a good lens. The only problem with this lens that you obviously will encounter is that this is not a fast lens, which means it cannot shoot so well in low light. This only goes from f4 to f5.6 and that's not your typical bokeh lens, like a 50 millimeter f1.8. So then again, if you are willing to work around those limitations, this lens is incredible. So the next thing on our list is a camera strap because without a camera strap, we won't be able to carry our cameras. But I'm not just talking about any camera strap like the camera straps that are included with your kit, like the Sony typical straps. I don't like those. The good thing about this is that it has these things. These are called like the anchor straps, if I'm correct. So if you look at my camera right here, I got two anchor points on the side here and at the bottom, which also has a plate here, which allows me to do this. Watch, check this out. So all I need to do is snap this on. So all I need to do is just slide this anchor point into this pull. That's secure, it's not going anywhere. And I take the other point, the other side, same thing, I strap it like this. And you'll hear a click and now you can easily put this on like this. And if you want to shoot, you just literally do this. You can treat it like a bag. It's literally not going to go anywhere. Look at that. It's just behind you, plain and simple. It looks better than your typical camera strap and it feels safer. Like if you were in a pinch and you needed something to maybe pull a car with, this is something that can handle that. I'm not really sure if that can do that, but you get the idea. Okay, so again, we already have our camera which is the Sony a7C, that's number one. Number two is the Sony 28-60, to 60, 
lens, which is our number two. The third one is the Peak Design slide light. That's item number three. And our item number four is, so let's pretend you've been shooting handheld and you actually want to take a selfie, but actually you can't do this. This doesn't look professional at all. And you want to put down your camera with a tripod. You don't want to carry a bulky tripod like this, right? Let me show you. I'm quite sure that you don't want to travel with a tripod like this, right? Even if it's carbon fiber, this still weighs over a kilogram like at least 1.4 kilograms. And this thing is huge. I don't know, I, I, I'm never gonna bring a tripod like this for traveling. But thank God there's a tripod like this. This is the Joby 3K Pro. You can see it in all its glory and magnificence. This isn't your typical Joby now. So before, Joby would release these bad tripods. Let me show you really quick what it is. So before, I would just use the Joby 1K. So if you actually measure the weight of this camera without the camera strap, I don't think it will reach a kilogram, right? So it makes sense sometimes to think that the Joby 1K will be enough, but this is not actually a good tripod because these legs are still made out of plastic and they cannot really hold the weight of a Sony A7C with a 28 to 60. I mean, it can, but it cannot do it confidently. If I were to wrap this around a tree or a pole, I would want to be as close to it as possible. So just in case it does fall, I would be there to catch it. But with this Joby 3K Pro, which has the improved legs, it now has met metallic legs and hinge. Is it called a hinge? Like a joints. Joints is the better word. So it now has metallic joints and it allows you to have more confidence to just leave your camera like, in the Philippines, I remember I hung this upside down on a C swing, a swing, a C swing. I was about to say seesaw, but on a on a swing on the top pole, I, I hung it like this, wrapped it around, and then the camera was literally upside down. And I had no hesitations whatsoever. I was confident that even if I left it there for 15 minutes, it's not gonna fall. This is how much I love this tripod. It's really a confidence builder and confidence builder, a confidence giver, if that's even a word. This Joby 3K is such a good tripod. And one cool thing is that if you get into this system that I'm telling you, so if you remember a while ago, I told you that there is a plate here. This is an Arca Swiss plate, which means I don't need to keep screwing the tripod head onto the camera. All I need to do is check this out. Plate, tripod head. You see, this is an Arca Swiss tripod head. All I need to do is put the plate, screw it on, just like that. And now this camera is set to go. All I need to do, if I want to, if I want to take a quick vlog shot, I can do that or I can extend it like this. Do how Casey Neistat would do it. He's like wrapping these things like that. Whatever you need to do. If you need to stand it up, release the ball head, this is also a professional grade ball head. It's really stiff. I think I put my A7S III on this thing and it never budged. A7S III with a, with a Sony, no, not Sony, Sigma 24 to 70 lens, which is a humongous and heavy lens. It had no problem. It didn't shift, it held its position the whole time. So look at this, I just put it like that. I can confidently leave it there. So again, this is the tripod that I rely on the most. So this Joby 3K Pro has been the MVP of our entire travel for the last two, three weeks in the Philippines. I just love this thing. I wish this tripod existed earlier because I bought a lot of horrible tripods before, like the Joby 1K, the Joby 3K kit. Those are horrible tripods. Believe me, they will just last for a few months and they will break. So yeah, that is number four, I think, or number, yeah, number four. So the fifth on our list is not your average gear that people will talk about. So again, let's recap. We have the camera, lens, camera strap, and tripod. The fifth t thing on our list is gonna be a camera bag, but it's not your typical camera bag. Let me show you. This is the Peak Design Field Pouch version two. So the cool thing about this is that you can put the Peak Design, uh, what do you call this thing, capture. This is called the Peak Design Capture. And if you notice, it is also compatible with an Arca Swiss plate. So let me show you what will happen. Check this out. This is my camera and this is the plate, right? If I take my field pouch version two with the capture attached on the side, all I need to do is just slot it in and you hear that click. With that click, it gives you a sense of security that is really locked on. And there's one more knob here you can turn or spin 
Now it's guaranteed that it will stay there. So now you're, you must be wondering, now that you have this bag, it looks weird unless you want to put it on your belt loop like this, right? But remember the other strap, the slide light version two, was it version two? I don't know, the slide light. So you can actually put the anchor points on this side as well. So with that being said, now I can now put my slide light onto this one and the other end goes on to the other end. And look at this kit. Dude, like seriously, now you got a fuel pouch version two, the slide light over here, the camera over here, and the capture, the metal thing that holds the camera onto the bag. And look at this. Now you have a bag that can do it all. Check this out. I have my bag, my camera over here, my alcohol, just in case I want to keep my hands clean. That's all you need. And now you're ready to travel. And you can just hold your tripod just casually like this. No biggie. It doesn't look like it's a weapon. People just think, oh, he must be a vlogger or something. So yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video about the things that I brought for our Philippines trip. So these things will really help you. Like, I'm not even talking BS. These things are some the stuff that I really, really, really use, especially the A7C, because I don't normally want to tra travel with my A7S III. It's just so heavy. And it just, it just doesn't make sense to bring out such a big camera. So that's it for me, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please do leave a comment down below or just hit the like button or even subscribe if you are willing. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, see you guys next time. Peace.